Welcome everyone. I've been looking forward to this day for some time. Every now and again, a revolutionary software comes along that changes the engineering design industry, completely transforming the way structural engineers work. Now at Prota, we have been fortunate over the years to have been involved in some of these technologies which have shaped the way structural engineering is delivered. In 1992, we introduced Probina Orion, the first system in the world for integrated concrete building design and detailing. In 2005, this was the first software solution to provide detailed assessment procedures for building rehabilitation after major earthquakes. And this allowed the review of tens of thousands of buildings around the world to quickly provide safety and post-earthquake relief. In 2007, we were one of the first solutions to provide physical, bidirectional, structural BIM integration with Revit, allowing engineers to communicate their projects and coordinate them with Revit. In 2014, we introduced one of the first dedicated physical multi-material modelling and design systems for building structures, protostructure. Our engineering teams in 2015 were one of the first consultants globally to deliver an entire metro line fully in BIM, from alignments to structure and architecture to operational systems and construction project management, all using integrated BIM technology. And we followed this up in 2018 when we delivered the world's largest airport terminal building in record time using BIM design technologies. Innovation is part of our DNA at Prota, and we have a passion for creating elegant, and practical structural engineering design solutions that make your world a better place. As structural engineers, we wear multiple hats. We model the world around us. We do analysis. We perform design. We create detailing. And we even create fabrication and constructible information. We also coordinate and share project information through BIM. Modelling, analysis, design, detailing, fabrication and BIM. It's a lot to cover. Traditionally, engineers have used many programs to cover this. For analysis, you have systems like STAD, SAP, MIDAS, S-Frame Robot, ETABS, Space Gas and so on. There's literally thousands of them out there. Many of these do some design, but mainly member element design. Some even have component design, maybe you're using Procon, TEDS, Blimcon and so on. But what if you want to do a complete detailed design? Design a core, a continuous concrete beam, a steel connection, some foundations with all the detailed checks for anchorage, lap lengths, ductility requirements and so on. All the design and associated detailing requirements, all in one. Very few do any detailing. Normally this is manually driven with AutoCAD, BriskCAD, GSTAR CAD. I'm sure you'd agree there's so many generic CAD platforms out there. But do they provide tools focused on structural detailing? Do they know what a rebar is or a beam is, other than just lines? What about fabrication? You may be using Tecla structures, advanced steel, BOCAD, and the like. How about BIM and communicating with other project team members? Revit, Darkicad, Allplan, etc. So, as you can see, there's lots of software that goes into equipping an engineering office. You know, take a look around at, at uh, your office. How many of these packages do you have? Maybe you have SAP or STAD and ETABS, TEDS, maybe AutoCAD and Revit. 
How much do you think you might have spent on all these packages over the years? Tens, maybe even hundreds of thousands of dollars. But do they even talk to one another? What about your seamless workflow? How about the time spent learning all of them? All of them with different interfaces. Modeling, analysis, design, detailing, fabrication and BIM. In 2020, Proto again revolutionizes the engineering industry with a software for streamlined building, modeling and analysis. A software for designing your steel connections, concrete beams, core walls, foundations and more. A CAD software for dedicated structural drafting and producing all of your engineering drawings with component design for other project elements like retaining walls and foundations. A fabrication software for producing all your construction and shop details. And a BIM software for communicating all of this to other project team members, owners, architects, m and specialists, and so on for coordination. A software for modeling and analysis, for design, for detailing, for fabrication, and for BIM. Modeling, analysis, design, detailing, fabrication, and BIM. What if all this software was one software? We are very, very proud to introduce the future with Protostructure 2021. Today I'll be taking you on a journey through Protostructure 2021 and we're going to share with you many of the fantastic enhancements which make Protostructure the leading structural BIM design platform for buildings. I'm very excited. This has been a combination of effort from a fantastic team of professional engineers and software developers around the world to realise this vision. And to share this with you today I'll be joined by a number of our key innovators that have made this all possible. So during the course of today's presentation, we're going to hear from Alto Gula, Protostructure's Development Manager, Mustafa Tuma Tan, Protostructure's Product Manager, and we'll also hear from Joseph Kubin, who's the CEO of the Proto Group and founded Proto Software many, many years ago. Well, I'd like to start with you. The new interface is so cool, right? Yes, it's so exciting. With Protostructure 2021, we looked at how engineers work and we revisioned the entire interface. Here you can see the new ribbon. You'll see that we've designed new icons to clearly show different functions like working with beams, columns, trusses, and the like. And we've also logically laid out how, as an engineer, you'd work through a project from creating a model to applying your loading to performing analysis and then running your design right through to documentation and BIM collaboration. Everything is where it should be. Yes, it really looks impressive. I love the new interface. It's very clear and easy to navigate. There's more to this, though, isn't there? We've kept the essence of product structure, so it's a very seamless transition for existing users. Yes, this is very important to us. The things that make product structure so great to use are still there. Users will see a lot of familiarity with, within the interface. Uh, things like right-click functionality and many of the user menus have been kept uh, because over the years, we've found that these are a very efficient and practical way to work. Users will also find that they can start using the new release right out of the box. They don't need to learn a new way of working. Yes, I agree. When I started using it, I found it so easy to pick up and to work with. But there's just so much more, isn't there? Yes, there is. There's so many innovations to share with everyone. Yes, I can see you smiling there. Yeah, let's show them. Well, uh, to start with, we have a brand new way to welcome users, our new stock page. 
Here you can see at a glance important information to allow you to get the most out of your Prota experience. On the left, you can see a visual list of, a recent, of recent projects you have been working on, and you can select and load this directly from here. But we have been wanting to provide a more interactive and engaging experience for our users. Centrally, you can see that there's now a direct news feed, uh, so you can hear about the latest developments and news from product, upcoming webinars, new technology updates, and the light will be listed here live. We also listed down the latest videos and webinars we produced, so you can directly watch them from here, so you don't miss out on learning about the many features and new things we are introducing into Proto structure. So, if you want to watch the latest webinars, we have created on topics like uh, foundation design, performance-based engineering, and flat slabs. All these can be found here. Off to the top right, here uh, you now have direct access to key resources. For those of you new to Prota here, uh, here you find quick start guides for getting up and running. New users can check out many of the new features here. You can also have direct access to our help center, the knowledge base where you can explore and find out uh, about specific topics of interest to you. We also now notify you of new updates to your system, uh, which are deployed live. And you can quickly update your system with the latest build and enhancements within a few seconds. So the whole start page has been created to provide a more interactive experience so uh, users can explore and engage with Prota. Yes, I think it's fantastic. I think users will really get a lot of valuable information and knowledge from the new start hub. It looks great. But I know that you're itching to share with us how users can now start using Prota Structure 2021. Yes, I am, and this is really, really fantastic. At Prota, we've continually been looking at ways to simplify and streamline our users' modeling experience. And to do this, we have developed a totally new technology which brings together information from a range of sources to help you get started. So I'm very pleased to be able to unveil our new Prota Hub. Prota Hub deploys leading beam technology and redefines how you can take advantage of both 2D and 3D information to get started. Now I'm sure uh, many users out there have used CAD to create key plans of their proposed structural arrangements, or perhaps they have drawings from all the projects where they are having to modify existing buildings. Normally this information would be viewed maybe on the desk next to you as you create your model. Now, however, with ProtoHub, this information can come to life. Here you can see that I am importing a 2D the except drawing file of a key plan. ProtoHub allows us to identify information in your plan, like beams, walls, slabs, and columns. It then automatically extrudes this information into 3D. You can immediately create your 3D model from 2D drawing information that you have. It doesn't stop there because we can also take a range of 3D information and bring this in as well. Here I am directly importing 3D the except information. Uh, which may have originated from a general analysis program like SAP or STAT, we will automatically bring this in and create a physical model. We can then assign member properties and loading to complete the model for design. We can also bring directly into Proto structure existing BIM models. Here I'm importing an IFC file and Proto structure rapidly recreates all the physical elements, beams, walls, columns, slabs, even piles inside of Proto structure. Of course, once we have this into the model, uh, we can overlay information from architectural plans to help coordinate and further refine models. I can see things like partitions, plins, service openings, and drops, and create this in our model also. Wow, this is uh, really fantastic. I can see this literally saving users hours and hours of modeling time. Yes, uh, you can even use this to import the regular truss arrangements directly from CAD. Uh, once we bring them in, we can also work with the elements and assign different member properties for design. You can, of course, refine and add to any of these imported models as you go. Yeah, I can see this being a major advantage with starting any project, when you even have some basic information at hand. How about general modeling in Project Structure 2021? Uh, of course, we have kept all the things that people love about Proto structure. You can use dynamic grid lines to help create setups. 
you box around to create members quickly. You can also use intuitive sketch lines to create unusual slabs and foundation arrangements. There is also tools for modeling in 3D with planes and intelligent snap points. And we also have smart libraries to help create additional loading like brick walls and slab finishes. Of course, we can dynamically adjust elements to suit architectural setup, which is great to refine your models. But with the uh, 2021 version, we have also introduced new and enhanced contextual modeling. What do I mean by that? Well, in protostructure, we create models with fit for purpose elements. So here you can see that I can snap between elements like trusses in this roof and automatically preview a set out arrangement for the purlins. I may want to make adjustments here to the sections, loads, layout, but I can then instantly create this into my model. The days of keying in nodes or create members uh, one by one are gone. Here I'm inserting multiple braces into a bay and I can play with all the positioning in 3D to create exactly what I like. Top and bottom courts, base between columns, all can be easily handled. The same can be done for uh, other common elements like girts in your model. With Protostructure 2021, we have also provided you with the freedom to express yourself. We now support free member modeling where you can enhance and create any element in the model suite. You can position elements how you wish and manipulate member properties as well as full analytical member releases to suit your requirements. All this is then fed to the analysis and design engine for checking. And to make loading a complete breeze, check out our new panel element for applying pressure loads. Here you can see I have applied some dead load to this roof. It's fast and easy. That's great, Alto. I can remember the hours taken when I started designing, keying in nodes and elements. It was very painful. Contextual modeling is very flexible and saves loads of time. Yes, we haven't stopped with steelwork though. With concrete elements, you have the freedom to create any column or wall arrangement you like. Here in our columns, we can of course design and detail regular arrangements automatically. But what if you have something irregular? With protostructure, we can make use of smart polylines to define whatever shape we like. We can then use tools like auto-containment to create steel bar arrangements. These can be further refined if you wish uh, for providing additional ties, bundled steel, whatever arrangements you like. We also see many users working with a range of different wall arrangements. And with protostructure 2021, we have focused on providing some really amazing tools to help you manage the modeling and design. Any arrangements of walls in protostructure can be modeled, but we then created the ability to select an arrangement and merge wall panels together for design. Protostructure then automatically provides containment detailing, including intelligent end zones for design around the merged walls. These can uh, also be manually adjusted to suit your requirements. We made it very flexible. We also have introduced new modeling elements in protostructure. You can now create info wall panels, which are really useful for enhancing shear capacity to existing structures. This is in addition to items like base isolators, splices, and column jackets, which can be used to retrofit uh, and strengthen existing buildings. We also have coupling beams and even basement walls with soil pressure loading. All of these can be selected from the properties menu as you create your model. You'll also notice when you're modeling that contextual ribbons will appear depending on what you are creating. Here you can see all of the comments that can be applied to the element you are working with. So for this beam, I could review analysis and design results, edit member loads, use our brick wall libraries to quickly define brick wall loading, check deflections and even set rebar corrosive factors for building assessment. All this can be done in each tailored menu. To return to the modeling environment, you can just hit the magic escape key. Just that simple. Wow, wow. I, I think many of our users are going to be very impressed with all of this. I believe so. Users will also see that model creation and editing is extremely fast and responsive. We are taking full advantage of our 64-bit architecture and advanced modeling platform to deliver a very dynamic, fluid, and intuitive user experience. 
Once modeling is completed, users can also review and check projects before they move into design. You can simply click on the review menu at any stage where you can check things like superimposed dead and live loading, brick wall loading, and material properties. It's great to be able to review all of this before you get into design. Thanks, Alto. I think there's some extremely impressive ways to start models using our product hub technology with the 2D, 3D, and BIM information imports. It's amazing to see how you can develop and work with the model using contextual modeling commands in the intuitive menus. It's very fast and fluid. I, I really like this. I also love the new wall containment and the new ribbon looks fantastic. What I also really like about the environment is how when you hover over an element, you can see these new tooltips, which offer handy advice on how to use each feature. What's more, I can also watch short videos demonstrating on how to use these. It's great. I'm sure our users and our support team are going to love you for this. Yes, uh, that's called in-product learning, and I think that's really going to help users learn and take advantage of new features very quickly. It's a great way to interact with the system. Thanks for that insight, Otto. It looks brilliant. Well, it's been great bringing this to life. Hi, Mustafa. Well, the story doesn't end here, does it? We have some fantastic new analysis features to showcase, don't we? Hi, Nigel. Yes, we certainly do. While Altu was speaking, I've been trying to contain myself. It's, it's great seeing all this new technology coming to life. And you're right, this is just part of the complete system that's Protostructure 2021. There have been so many different elements which have come together with the 2021 release to redefine what people should expect from a modern, comprehensive building design and detailing system. Now, there is a lot I'd like to share with everyone today, but where I'd like to start is with our custom templates. Whenever you start a project in Protostructure, you can use local country-specific templates to get you going. This is where you can draw on Prota's experience with operating around the world and understanding the preferences of our users having different countries. So what we have done is create these localized templates and local preferences to see for things like calls of practice, materials, and detailing preferences are all localized. So if I'm a business with operations across Asia, for example, and I'm doing projects in Bangkok and the Philippines and maybe Singapore, I can easily adopt the local practice being used for any of these countries. I don't need a complete understanding of, say, the detailing nuances in Thailand as opposed to Singapore. Simply select your preferred template and get straight into modeling. With its 2021 release, we have also centralized all the settings in one place, one locality where you'll find all the standard settings used across the whole protostructure suite. Yes, I can see that helping many businesses save time, both with setting up their projects and being able to adapt where they are delivering projects across different countries, uh, each with their unique requirements. Yes, a lot of thought has gone in to provide this unique flexibility. Moving on, after automatically creating your load combinations and setting up your analysis parameters, the first thing you'll notice is that Protostructure 2021 runs the analysis significantly faster than the previous versions. In fact, both the analysis and design processes now take full advantage of multi-threading with our enhanced 64-bit architecture. You can throw virtually anything at it, and it will rapidly create analysis and design whether it's a large industrial complex or a 70-story office building, you'll find the solver quick and responsive. You'll also notice that as we run the analysis, we are also performing on-the-fly checks for things like inter-story drift, vertical and horizontal irregularity checks, and load chase-downs. Protostructure has some very thorough checks to ensure you are meeting code requirements, and these extend especially to meet rigorous seismic analysis procedures to comply with code requirements. Once you're done, 
we can open up our brand new analysis post processor. In here, you'll find one of the fastest, most responsive post processors ever developed for viewing your analysis results. Here, I can select to look at, say, Excel loads, and instantly the model will update. You can easily flick through different load cases or combinations to suit. At any point, you can zoom in and you'll see that the wheels are adaptive. You'll also see that there is adaptive scaling and we can just show the key results against the diagrams, minimum and maximum moment for a span, for example. Perhaps we also want to look at the stresses and we can turn on the counterplots. You can differentiate between, say, the floor slab and wall by toggling them on or off. And you can just adjust the stress plots to suit. It's very fast and flexible. You can also dig down into member results and interrogate all the results. Here I can look at envelopes, deflections, or turn on or off selected results like torsion or relative member deformations to suit. Just for a bit of visual fun, we have also created a new solid model where you can see the physical elements dressed in color-coded analytical results. It's a nice way to review the magnitudes of the actions acting against the real thing. Yeah, that looks so cool. Yes, the analysis views can be docked in any part of the screen. We also understand that many users have large projects, so these windows extend to additional screens if you have them. You can instantly click and activate the screen that you want to work with. It's completely dynamic. We also understand that as design engineers, you have to consider a wide range of analytical scenarios. These are also intrinsically linked to the type of design you're doing. For example, if you are performing seismic design, you want to be able to consider response spectrum analysis. But not only this, you need to be able to consider this in the context of the codes you're using. Attached to the analysis are a wide range of code requirements that must be satisfied. We do this in protostructure by building intelligence into the analysis procedures, which then allow us to automatically perform these checks and adapt the analysis results to suit. If I just take a moment to expand on the RSA example, while we are running this, we also perform an equivalent static uh, analysis concurrently at the same time. We then calculate the static base shear, and depending on the code requirements, we automatically scale the response spectrum results to match, match this base shear. Almost all other solutions in the market require you to do this manually, and this can take considerable time and effort. This is just one way in which we are saving engineers hundreds of hours with analysis and design. Yes, um, having designed a number of buildings in my time, I can fully appreciate those features. Yes, this year we have also introduced comprehensive nonlinear analysis capabilities. And again, this has been adapted to provide you with immediate real world usage. With Protostructure 2021, we now provide both nonlinear pushover and nonlinear time history analysis. But not only have we introduced analytical capabilities, we have also provided comprehensive performance based design and building assessment capabilities. For those of you that have ever had to set up a nonlinear model for performance based design, you will fully appreciate that. Preparing this data, especially the creation of the fiber model, can take weeks. With Protostructure, we instantly create this for you. That's quite right. I can just imagine how long that takes to do by hand, yeah? Now, all these, um, all these time savings and analysis and design procedures are, are all adding up. Yes, they do. This also extends to wind, where, as you can imagine, Wind loads need to be assessed and applied. In protostructure, this process is automated and customized to suit the codes you use. With the 2021 version, we have enhanced this by considering crosswind and orthogonal pressure to fully comply with the code requirements like the latest ASC, for example. Just key your wind speed in, make adjustments for local topography and building types, and it's done. 
Finally, we are also introducing advanced stage construction analysis with time dependency properties for creep and shrinkage. This is being performed to CEB 90 and Eurocode 2. Look out for these enhancements in service pack 1. Well, the enhanced speed, the new analysis processor, and the advanced analysis and learning capabilities really look brilliant. Thanks, Mustafa. That's great. I think all we've provided there makes loading and analysis very fast and efficient and all streamlined to what engineers want to do with building analysis. Yes. I think this really makes all these time-consuming processes really efficient so you guys can get on with providing economical design. Well, speaking of design, welcome, Joseph. Thanks, Nigel. I know you have designed hundreds of projects around the world over the years, and a lot of this experience has been woven into the fabric of product structure. Yes, it has. It's been great to share this knowledge through the software. I've always been looking to provide users with design advantages to allow them to be more productive and competitive while providing elegant and simple to use interfaces. And protest structure 2021 continue to move this forward. Great, I'm sure everyone is looking forward to this. Yes, we have some exceptional new design capabilities with protest structure 2021. We have provided brand new column and beam design interfaces, which have the look and feel of the older versions but they offer much more. Here with the beam design, you can now visualize the frame element in 3D, where you can also make adjustments to properties on the fly. You can also dynamically tweak bar arrangements, copy and paste arrangements, and even edit section sizes in elevation. You can also make use of dynamic diagrams, where you can interrogate the results just like an analysis post-processor, all seamlessly integrated. As Alto mentioned earlier, we have also enhanced the column and wall containment approaches. But we have gone one step further with this technology in 2021 version, with the introduction of not just merged walls, with fully integrated analysis and sectional design, but also enhancing the way in which we automate the design of containment zones at the wall ends and around the corners. We will optimize the bar selection for these arrangements to provide you with the most design efficient solution. You can imagine the, the thousands of irregular wall arrangements out there and the time it takes to properly design and detail these in accordance with the code and to provide real economy to your projects. Our new wall containment technology addresses this with just a click. That's marvellous Joseph. I know in Asia we see thousands of buildings where walls are extensively used and this will be a great way to add value to design while providing a complete solution through to the detailing. Yes, uh, users around the world will benefit from this. Just another way we are refining our design to add value. You may have seen earlier that now we support free member modeling where you can create virtually any set out by importing from CAD, BIM or directly modeling in the software. Well, these elements are also passed into the steel design. We also enhance the intelligence around still effective length calculations for situations like where a column has additional restraint from an intermediate landing beam and we also track the bending moments to provide the highest accuracy when it comes to design. So the enhancements we have made here fine tune this to provide you with an optimum design. We have also implemented custom deflection checks where you can check to the code or provide your own tolerances. This is great if you are working on sensitive projects, for example, where deflections are critical. Now, once your steel members are designed, 
We have also significantly enhanced the steel connection design in Protasteel. You can really take advantage of AI by using IntelliConnect. AI? Yes, IntelliConnect assesses each joint individually and intelligently, designs the related connections for both structural safety and, more importantly, constructability. It's artificial intelligence in action. So here you can see I've designed an entire floor and beam to column to brace connections automatically and it assesses the joint and intelligently it is making relevant adjustments as it goes. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes, it's saving users literally days of time. With Protostructure 2021 version, we also have extended the library of steel design macros. They include haunch connections, both bolted and welded gusset plate connections, splice connections, apex hound connections, purlin and girt connections. This now means almost all the library of steel connection macros are now designed with full code-based calculation documentation. So, if you really want to check relevant clauses against the code, you will find all step-by-step -step detail in the calculations. We have also included a number of very useful macros including wind column connections, beam-to-beam -beam fixed connections, castellation beams and beam web openings with stiffeners, checkered plate gratings, automatic stair threads and handrails. Many of the new connections, including those to concrete, have been added as scenarios to IntelliConnect to automate their design. Now, just to finish this off, we have also introduced connection grouping, where we will automatically detect similar connections and link and reference these to the relevant details. That's fantastic. Having designed a lot of steelwork structures in my time, I can fully appreciate those capabilities. And that, this adds to the ability to create your own custom connections, make steel connections a very complete package. There's virtually nothing you can't create. Yes, I'd agree. Moving onwards and downwards to the foundations, we now fully automate the design of pad bases, which can now be done together with the pile caps. We will optimize the size for you to come up with the most efficient arrangements. Like the pile caps, these can also be rationalized and grouped together. So we're going from the roof right down to the foundations, right? All in one model. Yes, that's the key fundamental here. All modeling, analysis and design capabilities, all in one environment all part of the one seamless whole. We have also extended the design code coverage in this release. With Protostructure 2021, we not only cover the US, BS and Eurocode standards, but also localizations and language-based versions to suit specific markets like Romania, Poland, Germany, Thailand, Indonesia and the Philippines. All this is to provide our users around the world a focused approach to suit their own local requirements. And please watch this space because we have more codes on the way. Yes, I think there are many users that appreciate the localization of things like detailing and design preferences to suit their local practice. This has been a priority of our development, hasn't it? Providing flexibility to meet both global and local requirements to provide fit-for-purpose design solutions. Yes, just to finish off design, we have continued to enhance our unique design and detail library of component design macros. This is where we provide solutions for element design around the core of protest structure. So, say you wish to design a retaining wall or a core wall or perhaps a piling system, 
you can use this library to not just design these components but also detailing them. We also have core components of building design interface in here. So if I want to just design a pile cap or a pet base, I can use this independently. I don't have to go and create the model first. I can just key the loads in and use the same common interface I am familiar to create the design and documentation. Yes, I love this growing library of calculations. They're all very useful in complementing a design, scheming up or checking, they're great. Well, thanks for this, Joseph. There's some brilliant new design features with ProStructure 2021 there for our users to enjoy. Thanks, Nigel. It's our absolute pleasure to share this knowledge with everyone. We are excited to be able to bring this to life and for users to enjoy this technology. Yes, thanks again, Joseph. It's great seeing our vision being realized. Product Structure 2021 seamlessly brings your engineering documentation to life. So while I can easily switch between reviewing modeling, analysis, and design views, with this new technology, we're also providing you with the ability to review details on the fly before publishing them into your drawings. So whether you want to see walls, beams, or foundation details, all of these can be previewed here in the Drawing and Reports tab. Here you can also compile your design reports for the whole project from analysis results to detailed member design as well as all the elemental design like pile and retaining walls together with your steel connections. All into one document, all organised and customised to your preferences. Now once your design is complete, this is where the power of having one integrated seamless system transforms documentation. Here you can see that I've automatically created all the RC drawings, all laid out into my sheets with a single click. Everything is created, from the foundations, to set out plans, to column and wall elevations, to group column schedules, to all the beam elevations. Beam schedules can also be provided to complement the design. And last but not least, we have our foundation details all automatically laid out into your drawing sheets. The Proto Detail environment is a fully flexible CAD system. It uses standard CAD commands like you'd find in other drafting systems like AutoCAD. But we have gone one step further. In here we have also provided you with custom tools, especially developed to help you edit, manage and create your structural detailing. Here I'm cropping a section and moving it to another part of the drawing. Here I'm using our intelligent custom rebars to help me detail out additional information I want to convey. We also understand that projects are not just about drawings. Owners want to know costs and contractors want to be able to fabricate. Here I'm selecting some details of interest and instantly creating the full quantity schedules. Every bar broken down and quantified in one live schedule. And if there's changes, just make the change and the quantities dynamically adjust. We can update changes real time keeping you and your client informed. For fabrication, bars can also be broken out and displayed in detail. Every element that goes into constructing your project can be drawn out. And this doesn't stop with concrete detailing. From our fully connected steel model, where we may have used IntelliConnect and our intelligent library of macros to design, we have then introduced simple tools where you can isolate the connection elements you wish to detail out. Here you can see I've selected a connection and chosen the perspectives I want to detail. I can then create model elevation and plan views, including these, and then instantly provide you with all your detailing. These can all be further annotated to suit your detailing preferences. Imagine being able to add significant value to a client because you can seamlessly go end to end from modeling analysis design into detailing and directly into fabrication, providing all the information needed to construct a project. Because we have a fully connected steel model here, we have not just designed our connections, but also considered how this is constructed. 
Product Structure 2021 allows us to automatically create all the assembly and fabrication details from a single connected model. Here you can see a truss detail and how it fits together in this assembly drawing. Here you can see some staircase assemblies and on this sheet I can see all the detailed components of all these elements and what's more every bolt, nut, stud, plate and section is fully broken down and quantified all with precision and the detail needed to construct these elements to provide full assembly and fabrication information at your fingertips. Now this leads nicely into BIM because we have all this physical information even down to fabrication and we may want to share this with others. Whether it's an owner, the lead architect or services engineers we can take all the information Product Structure provides and share it with our project team. At Prota, our vision around BIM is to provide an open platform, allowing you to share and collaborate as much of your project information as possible. From our Prota Hub technology for working with IFCs and 3DDXFs to Revit to DWG to even using different analysis engines, uh, even to Excel. We have made Product Structure 2021 an open platform for communication of all the information you want to use. Now today we've talked at length about our new Protostructure Structure 2021 and how structural BIM design technology is a game changer for engineers around the world to seamlessly deliver modelling, analysis, design, detailing, fabrication and BIM all in one package. But there's one more thing I want to share with you today. Protostructure 2021 now introduces new 3D rebar modelling technology. So from any Protostructure model, you can see 3D rebar visualisation for things like columns, walls, pile caps, pad bases. You can see this live in real time and visualise how the model will come together. Now this technology is just not for show. We are now using this to help drive our detailing capabilities. Throughout Protostructure, you can see this in action with our new swimming pool design macro where the reinforcement is designed in 3D and used to generate detailing, or with our pad base and pile caps where the 3D reinforcement drives the drawings. This technology drives the way forward for us to be able to deliver enhanced design and detailing. Imagine being able to design and fully detail a dome in 3D or look at stairs or extremely unusual geometry. This is where at Prota, we have a passion for harnessing technology and creating simple, elegant structural engineering solutions to help you deliver your projects and your ambitions all in one singular system, Protostructure Structure 2021. So maybe you're asking, where can I get this? When is it available? Are there any offers? Well, Protostructure Structure 2021 is available for download right now. All our users with existing maintenance support can download and start using it now, today. Log into the Help Centre and follow the instructions. I'm sure you'll all be excited to start using this. For those of you that share in our vision and can see the value and simplicity in having an integrated structural BIM design system for modelling, analysis, design, detailing, fabrication and BIM, all in one solution, we have a very unique offer. For this month only, until the 31st of July, we are offering Protostructure 2021 globally in all markets at half our normal pricing. This is a one-time offer, only till the 31st of July. It includes all updates and technical support for the first year. It also comes with e-learning and access to a knowledge hub to allow you to get moving. It doesn't apply to pre-existing quotes and no trials are being offered. So, if you'd like to harness the power of the one, Protostructure 2021, please reach out to our teams globally. For all sales in Asia Pacific from New Zealand up to China, including Southeast Asia and West India, please email asiasales at protosoftware.com. For everywhere else globally, please email globalsales at protosoftware.com. Or at the conclusion of this webinar, complete the survey or click on the website link for more information. And we'll put you in touch with our nearest representatives globally. Thank you for today. Thank you for being part of our vision. Protostructure 2021, the one.